Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. Today's video is about Luminar and the difference between batch processing and synchronizing adjustments across photos. They are two distinct and separate workflows and I'll give you some thoughts about when you might want to use one or the other. Really quick, if you are a Luminar user, whether you're using it as your primary photo asset management or using it as a plugin, you're looking for a good resource, got an ebook out now, Luminar Essentials. It's been updated for Luminar 4. And if you're in the market, you can get a print copy. It's on Amazon right now. And I uh, hope you'll check that out to help you out with getting uh, all you can out of Luminar. So let's take a look at batch processing versus synchronization. Let's actually start with batch processing. Now, this is really a holdover workflow from earlier versions of Luminar, kind of going back to 2018, when it was just a standalone editor. It didn't have the library, it didn't have the asset management, and you wanted to take some photos, run them through Luminar, and have output just come on out. So the, the first part about batch processing, you go up to the file area and you choose batch processing. First thing it says is, well, what files do you want to run through this batch? Notice I don't have a, a window or a access to the library module right now. It's all grayed out. I can't get to it. I can't choose anything here. You're picking any image anywhere on your computer. You know, maybe that's in a folder that is registered with your Luminar library. Maybe not. That's totally up to you. So this is distinct and separate from your catalog of images. Let me just browse to my desktop. I've got a few images. That's fine. If you want to, you can include subfolders as well. Just choose that and then continue on with the process. The next thing you have is uh, this uh, bunch of different settings here. And mainly what you're doing is you're taking a Luminar look from any of the built-in Luminar, you know, look categories. If you've got your own loaded in, I'll choose one from uh, my landscape pack. And then you can pick one of those looks that is in that package, how much you want to apply it. So this is just like the looks panel. You don't get to see exactly what it is, but again, your batch processing, the assumption is you know what you want to do to this image. Maybe you're going to take one of the like, AI image enhancers, just run it all the way through. You know, so I could choose that, something like that, essentials, AI image enhancer, and boom, run everything through it. The next thing you have to decide is where you're going to save the photos and if you're going to overwrite. So what this batch process will do is take the source image you've selected, apply this look, and output a new image in uh, you know whatever format we're about to choose here into some folder on your computer. You do have some options for renaming the photo if you want to, and you, know, you can build up a particular name. And then you're choosing the output style. You can you know, do a variety of options. Depending on the, the style you choose, you'll get different options. Color, space, compression for TIFF. Uh, I will just do like a JPEG around, let's say, a quality of 80 is usually pretty good. You also have the option to resize. Now this can be kind of handy if you're looking to just do, a, you know, a take, a, take a bunch of photos you have and then you know, uh, resize them into smaller versions of themselves for, uh, for sharing, you know, not enlarge, typical type stuff there. I could also save all of these settings as a batch preset. So I said save settings, you get a preset name, and I'll just maybe say, you know, JPEG, you know, quality of 80, something like that. So I could use that, pick it up, and run with it the next time. Once I hit process, it would start running through all of those. Nothing changes in the Luminar catalog. Photos are not registered, they're not unregistered, you're not doing anything. This is really a holdover from previous versions of Luminar that didn't work with a catalog. Now, I'm not gonna make you watch this whole process here, so I'm gonna just back out of that, close this out. And now let's switch gears and talk about syncing changes across photos. Now syncing adjustments works within your Luminar catalog. You have you know, all these different photos. Some of them, you can see the little badges here, or have adjustments applied. This one has them, this one does not. If you've styled a certain look, you've made your own custom adjustments to a particular photo, and you wanna take those and apply them to a bunch of others, uh, it's very straightforward. Here, I'm in the library module. Let's pick this black and white one here, and I'm using Command or Control on a Windows machine to select a couple of other photos, okay? Up in the image menu, we have adjustments, and I can say sync. Now what this will do is take the adjustments from my most selected photo, the first one I selected. It's in this orange border here, that very first one, the other Plaza del Toros. 
and it will take the adjustments from that and apply them to all the other photos I have selected. Now this is a uh, an overwrite, right? It will take everything from my source image and paste it down onto all the other images I have selected. If I had any adjustments on photos that are going to receive this uh, this paste of my adjustments, those are going to be overwritten. You see, very quickly, I've got my my looks here, and this has been now applied to a bunch of these things. So synchronizing adjustments works with your Luminar catalog, and the advantage, of course, is I have these changes in a non-destructive format. I could take one of these photos, like this one here, of this interior. I can bring up this in edit, and you can see this is like you now something something off here. You know, things are. Things are too hot in the highlights. I can bring down the highlights. I can balance out the shadows. I can do other things that I might want to do to the image to make it look better. You know, the the application of you know a copy paste of some adjustments was like a starting point. It's kind of like a look, but if you've developed something and you're not necessarily saving it out as your own custom look, you just want to quickly blast it across a bunch of photos. You can do that with sync adjustments. Now, one other cool thing with sync adjustments, you might overlook this. Right now I'm in the edit module, right? And I've got one photo here and I'm working on it. Well, let's say I know that I have other photos. I want to take this kind of look and apply it. Well, let me open up the film strip. Get the show hide film strip. I have a film strip here. Uh, I've got a couple other photos down at the bottom that'll uh, that'll work for this. Let's see. Let's take uh, this one here where I've got this scene of uh, nice autumn colors here. And let's say I've been working on this image, making my adjustments, doing everything that I want to do to make it look good. And at the bottom here, I have another photo. Well, I'd like to just take this and apply it to this other one here. As long as I have this film strip open, I can do that command or control click. And I can go to the image menu. I can right click on a photo to sync adjustments. Even way down here in this little double dot area, I've got sync adjustments there. So I can hit that. And even though I'm still in the edit module, I can take what I've done on one photo, blast it out on a few others. And again, all of that is in my Luminar catalog. I can make adjustments further down the road. So uh, let's see, summing all this up, you know, batch processing is uh, really like a one and done kind of workflow. You take a photo, push it through a look, and out comes a new photo format. Nothing is done with your catalog. Nothing's registered in your catalog. If you wanted to add those processed photos, uh, then you'd need to bring them into your catalog. And at that point, why not just bring the originals into your catalog, apply a look, and you can keep that non-destructive adjustments there. So if you wanted to make any tweaks, you could. Synchronization works with your Luminar catalog. All of the changes are recorded in a non-destructive way, and you can make modifications to them. You just need to be able to select photos, and you can do that either in the gallery view in the library tab, or using the film strip in the edit mode. And that is the end of the video. That's the difference between batch and sync in Luminar 4. Hope this helped you out. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. If you're looking for a good resource on Luminar, please check out Luminar Essentials. Links are below the video. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.